Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a very great pleasure to be here at this event, which looks head to, or ahead to the holding of the World Islamic Economic Forum in London this October. Uh, this is the first time this forum, which is an annual event, has been held outside the, uh, the, the centres of the Islamic world in the Middle East or in Southeast Asia. Uh, and we are very honoured uh, that the first time uh, that the forum is held outside that region is right here in London. Um, it's uh, been a catalyst to the establishment of a British government and private sector Islamic finance task force uh, led by Baroness Wasi and by Greg Clark, who is sitting in the front row, um, which is focused on showcasing the UK's capabilities as a major global centre for the specialist financial and professional services needed for the development of the Islamic finance global market. We will be welcoming 1,500 delegates. I think this is going to be fantastic. They'll have a great time in London. As I never tire of telling you, a city that has more museums than Paris, free museums at that. Uh, <laughs> less rainfall than Rome is a statistic that I've never really bothered to check. We certainly have about a fifth or a quarter of the murder rate of New York. It's a fantastic, <laughs> uh, it's a fantastic place to, a fantastic place to visit. London has brought richness and depth, not just to your lives, but also to your society. That is why I am so pleased that London has agreed to host the ninth World Islamic Economic Forum in October. It is a chance for Malaysia by way of return to bring a new perspective to London. We are seeing some of the most famous and iconic structures in London actually built thanks to Islamic finance. Can you think of one? I'll give, anybody think of a, a famous structure, financed by Sukuk? I'll give you a clue. It's very large. It's, it's pointy. <laughs> it's not far from here. You can more or less see it from Mars. It's, it's the shard. And uh, the, I don't, the shard is itself the product of Sharia compliant finance. And I don't think there are many people in London who know that. An open city with unparalleled financial expertise and a diverse population are clear. This is one of the reasons why, in just a few months, the World Islamic Economic Forum will bring business and government leaders from both the Muslim and non-Muslim world here to talk, to discuss, and eventually to strengthen our collaboration.